Okay, well, I'll play a game now. It's called, uh, this is a game we play here on the show. It's called okay. If You Only Knew. It's a rapid fire. Okay, okay. first car. First car was, <laughs> first car was a Gucci Javelin that really? I bought for $100. Yeah, it was green, Gucci green with a Gucci interior. Okay. It sounds amazing, but it, believe me, it was. I mean, I got stuck in the Holland Tunnel with it one time, and I didn't have air conditioning, and it was like August. It was terrible. A superpower you wish you had? Uh, I'd like to be able to fly. A secret talent? Secret talent. Uh, my secret talent is probably playing the spoons. Uh huh. I mean, it's not really that big of a secret, but. Uh, kind of like drumming. Kind of like drumming, percussive, yeah, yeah. Funniest fan encounter. Uh, gee, funniest fan encounter. Um, I was uh, on the street actually with the tearaways. We were in Liverpool. It was in the middle of the night, and I was heading back to the hotel. I was on my own, and I was standing on the corner, and this homeless guy kind of walks by me and looks at me and goes, you're the keyboard player from Blondie. <laughs> so that was kind of funny because I'm the drummer from Blondie. But yeah. it, was, it was like, it's, it's just, just, it's interesting. Um, and then I was out jogging on the, on, the, uh, on the east side, on the East River, like at six o'clock in the morning. And I went on the, the, the sort of, there's a ferry that, you know, so there was one guy waiting for the ferry. Uh -huh. And uh, I run by him to the edge of the dock. Then I run back, and then when I run back, he goes, hey, you're Clem Burke. Yeah. I'm like, what, what do you, this is like six o'clock in the morning in New York City. And, yeah. and, Are you surprised when you get recognized, or you get recognized all the time? Um, I don't get recognized all the time. I, I kind of like when I'm kind of walking around in a foreign country and somebody says hello. Yeah. That's nice. That's cool. Okay, uh, if you were not a musician, Clem, what would you be? Well, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a forest ranger. Uh-huh. And then I, I guess I studied psychology and sociology in college, so uh, I thought a good job would be like giving out food stamps and kind of helping the homeless, which is kind of relevant today, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, what's an instrument that you wish you could play? Um, bass clarinet. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I wish I played the guitar better. Yeah. You have uh, any uh, advice that you would say is the best piece of advice you've ever received? Well, I, <laughs> I was on a plane one time, and uh, the person sitting next to me was uh, Sonny West, who was part of the Memphis Mafia. Okay. He wrote that book, Elvis, What Happened? He and his brother, Red West. And uh, it, Elvis had just uh, recently died. And he said the reason they wrote the book, it was the first kind of expose on Elvis about his behavior, his drug intake, and yeah, yeah. his bad habits, let's say, and he said they had written it so he could be, become more self-aware, maybe. And so then, uh, plane lands, and uh, Red goes, Sonny, I keep calling him Sonny, it was Sonny and Red West wrote the book. Sonny goes, oh, I'd like you to come, you know, meet my family, my wife's picking me up, and all that. So I go, okay, great, Sonny, you know. Yeah. So he goes to get into his car, I think it was probably a Cadillac, maybe that Elvis had bought him. He, he looks at me and goes, remember, Clem, don't let what happened to Elvis happen to you. <laughs> What's the worst piece <laughs> of advice? That's a good story, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And you didn't let that happen. I, I didn't, no. You've lived kind of a clean lifestyle for a rock and roll guy. <sighs> I like to have a drink. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you all do, right, Tom? Absolutely, we've had a few. Yeah. Later. yeah. Uh, okay, uh, the artist uh, we'd be most surprised to hear you listen to. You, you mentioned Eminem, but... Uh, Oh, somebody like uh, Pavarotti or, you know, um, I mean, I don't think it's to be a surprise, Miles Davis or John Coltrane, things like that. Who, who are you excited to hear new music from now? Well, we're getting this award with this girl, Billie Ellis, Ellish, I believe her name is, 17-year-old girl from uh, Highland Park, and uh, our stuff's really interesting, you know, and uh, definitely the next, she's definitely the next wave, I'm looking forward to Hearing more from her. Last question. Favorite thing to do on your day off when you're not drumming? <laughs> well, uh, probably go to the beach or something like that. Take it easy. Go to a museum or, you know, like when we're on tour, it's good to go to art museum or the Pompidou in Paris is a really cool place and, you know, really tragic about Notre Dame, huh? That was crazy. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. Yeah.
you you you, you spent a lot of time in Europe with uh, yeah with the yeah the last time I was in in uh, Paris I remember the Notre Dame in the middle of the night and it, all the rats were coming out from behind the little hedgerows it was totally goth and really cool you know but was, <laughs> I mean Notre Dame I mean it, it you know it's some place I always visit when I'm in Paris so yeah. it's shocking I mean it's shocking for the world they'll you know? rebuild it. They will rebuild it'll be new. It'll be, it'll it'll be, be nice new. and new. Yeah, it'll be new. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.